Morning all, welcome to Garden Invaders. Yes, when it comes to all things horticultural, this is the show that truly delivers. We transform a boring old backyard into something to cherish in just a day, and it's all down to some first class males. That really was a second class delivery in many ways. Wasn't it was, it? actually. You're right. <laughs> well, I'm going to be putting my stamp on the garden with a, a classy design, and then one of the garden owners is going to be answering some of this man's cunning questions to win some plants. Perhaps there's nothing for you here, by the way. Again. Hey, you know what? I used to be a postie, but they gave me the sack. Hey! Today we're in Sutton Coalfield to invade the garden of Matt and Teresa Green, who live here with their two young children. Matt's a postman and Teresa works for a housing association. They've called us in to help because although they've sorted out their part of the garden ready for their wedding this summer, they're completely stuck for ideas for an adventure area, especially for their kids. Child's play for the garden invaders. So, you did this part of the garden, sir. We did, yeah. Um, we, did. Last... we did. We did. We did. I did, did the labouring. Yeah, I did, did, did labouring. Yeah, like digging and, and moving stuff and, you know, just generally Fence help. painting. Making and... tea, that kind of thing. Slave. <laughs> <laughs> like it. <laughs> but you did, the la you did the design, did you? Yeah, basically, yeah. Were yeah. you drunk when you, <laughs> when, you tried to, when you tried to do the edges? Because it seems to be going all over the place. <laughs> I thought it was a bit art and design, isn't it? <laughs> You couldn't Obviously. decide between a curve and a straight line, so you kind of have The both. idea of it is so you can hop the lawnmower wheel on it and just run round without mm. edging the lawn. Oh, oh so yeah, the But you've sort of petered out, haven't you? It's all very nice here, and then yeah. suddenly yeah. just not much happening at the end. Just ran out of steam, really, yeah. and uh, we were trying to think of some things to do with this bottom part of the garden. Because it's mostly been used for the building of this part. Yeah, so all it's the just... concrete's been mixed down there, and the yeah. wood's been stored right. down there. So you've so, left the right old mess for us well, to clean up. Well, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. I like your little house. It's supposed to be it's somewhere for the kids to play, but it just ends up as somewhere to store all the kids. So it's just another stuff. shed. That is okay, such a shame for the kids, yeah. though, because it's not just your kids yeah. use the garden. No, no. next door's uh, kids, yeah. Right, so the whole neighbourhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a communal garden. So that makes it even worse, that you've got this lovely thing <laughs> they could play in and they can't even get in it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think we can do something down there. We can fix that, sort it out. But Great. you've got to make them use that shed, I think. Okay. We'll bring that yeah. into it, too. Okay. So it's got to be char It's got to be still child-friendly for all the neighbours. Yeah, definitely. As, as much yeah. as possible. That's yeah. very important. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> who's doing the questions and who's doing the gardening? Uh, Teresa's going to do the questions and I'll... <laughs> Lovely, and I'll lovely. Do the, uh, gardening the grafting. Yes. Excellent. You are now the slave, not Teresa. You uh, do what you're great. told by Mr. <laughs> Stir John. So you're around the front with me. Uh -huh. Start jogging now. It's a good job being a postman. Better oh. than walking the streets. <laughs> <laughs> right then, Matt, you ready to get stuck in and get your hands dirty? I certainly am, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Excellent. I said jog. So I've done a plan for you so you can see what we're oh, gonna build today. Thank you. Right, here we go. What we're going to do is have a bit of an adventure area for the kids, and it's also going to be a bit cut off so they can feel a bit private down there, and you can also get a bit of sanctuary up at the top end of the garden. Going to have an area for growing some vegetables here, because I know they're quite oh, keen yeah, on that. I'd love that, yeah. And here we're going to have a swing, but we're only going to have a swing if you win it. Oh. So think of the children. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Penny. Now, Thank this you. is your T-shirt. You're an invader for the day. This in your colour there. Lovely. And the first thing we've got to do is clear this area here, get rid of that soil, and take the shed down. All right? Let's yep. go. Let's go. So we're in your neighbour's garden. Yes rather than out front of house, because there's a lot of space out there, because right. of all the kit we've brought along. And can I just say, could you ask your neighbour, what's her name? Renuka. Renuka, lovely name. Could you please mow the grass? Yes, I'll, I'll tell her that. It's not good, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. But we've made it look awfully nice. <laughs> yes, yes. With a whole load of plants, yep. OK? Now, everything here could be in your garden by the end of the day. Right, OK. All right? Mm -hmm. If you get the questions right. right. Simple as that. We start over here with some climbers. OK, yep, very okay. nice indeed. That'll be question one. We'll be coming back to those. Then a group of grasses. Yep. To be honest, they don't look as good as they could because of the length of the grass around. Thank you, Renuka! <laughs> then over here to some shrubs. Right. In flower at the moment as well, the old hebe yes. looks a picture. Yep. Very nice indeed. Mm -hmm. And then over here, finally, some perennials. Right, OK. OK. Very nice time of the year, this, because so much of it's in flower, mm -hmm. so you'll get that magic transformation right. immediately I if you get the questions right. right okay. But also, there is obviously the little extra right. for the garden. How about that? Yeah, fantastic. You like that? Yeah, I do. 
A lot. First plants up for grabs are these, the climbers. First up, Fremontodendron California Glory. It's a large shrub that loves a south-facing wall, and it may be evergreen in a very sheltered location. It has masses of large yellow flowers throughout the summer. Lanicera Sensation. It's a honeysuckle, a deciduous twining climber that flowers throughout summer. It looks good and it smells great. Finally, jasmine. If you thought all jasmines produced white flowers, well, think again. This one is a pink variety, but it's just as scented. Here's your question for the climbers. Good luck, Teresa. What is the predominant colour of the flowers of members of the Narcissus family? Are they red, yellow or purple? Yellow. Are you very sure about that, Teresa? It's daffodils, isn't it? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. If you're watching this in the boardroom at work, <laughs> which they will be doing. Yes, I know. I think it's yellow. You're right. Yes. 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 Hurrah! They've all gone. They've all done your thing and gone hurrah, hurrah! in the boardroom. <laughs> yes, they are yours. They're going to be whisked into the garden in a second. Great. All I do want to tell you though about Fremontodendron, fantastic plant. Yeah. Brilliant climber, particularly against a nice sunny wall. Right. But it does have little like hairs on the stems and things, which can be irritating. Okay. But if it's against a wall and and behind other plants, yeah. the kids aren't going to rush past right. it or anything. Okay, so great. It's a nice plant, but just be aware of that. Okay, lovely. All right? Thank you. They are yours. They're going to get whisked into the garden by a garden in Beda. Here you come, Joe. Take him away. Now, Matt and Teresa's kids are going to have their own special area at the back here. This is going to be an area of play bark, and we're going to have a swing in here as well. But it's not all about action, because in this corner, they're already into growing things, so we're going to have a little vegetable garden. We're going to have somewhere to grow giant carrots, which we'll see a bit more of later. And then here, we're going to have a raised up deck so they can chill out if they want to, because it needs to last for a few years, this garden. As they grow up, they still need to be able to use it. And then we're going to have a bit more action here. We're going to have a raised crawl way so that the kids can play around here, swing on it, climb on it, jump down onto here. But we still need access to the garage, so on this side of it, we've got a path for the adults to come round into that back area and get into where they keep all their stuff. But we are going to screen the kids off a bit, keep them a little bit separate. So we're going to have some nice trellis across here, another piece over on this side, and the path is going to wiggle through it here. But this garden is all about play for the children. It's not unfortunately about play for us. We've still got a lot of work to do and time's ticking by. It's a big year for you. Yes, it is, yeah. 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 You're getting married. We are, yes, at last. Who to? <laughs> I thought I'd better marry Matt. You know. What, because he's done the garden? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Can we come? Yes, yes, if you like. How are we, how are we going to a wedding? We're having the reception in the garden. Buy a hat. <laughs> in the garden. We it's are. Got a bit, yes. You're not. We are. We're having the reception in the garden, so it better be good. No pressure for us then. <laughs> right, back to the old grasses you could win. Mm -hmm. I bet you'd like to know what they are. Yep. Bet you would too. Carex Frosted Curls produces tall spikes of tiny brown flowers in summer. It's clump forming and evergreen. Festuca Glauca Golden Toupee is good as an edging plant, in pots or on your head if you're going a bit thin on top. And Penicetum, it's a narrow-leaved grass grown for its bottle brush-like plumes of reddish brown flowers produced in mid to late summer. So here's your question. OK. What are you said to be doing if you encourage rhubarb to grow rapidly by excluding light. Is it forcing, pushing or blanching? Forcing. Forcing. Yet again, you are straight in there, like a knife through butter. Am I right? I am. <laughs> what did I say about control freak? <laughs> am I right? I am. You are. Absolutely, am I? yes. <laughs> Perfecto! Great. Very good. Well done, Teresa.
Now this is the deck area. It's a kind of multifunctional space really because the kids can muck around on here. They can sprawl on it, you can put cushions on it, lie down, jump around, do whatever you want. Now we're using this timber, which is prepared timber and pressure treated as well. So it hasn't got any splinters in it, but it's gonna last. So what are you doing here, Dave? I'm just putting the weed mat underneath, stop the weeds growing through. This is a frame that we reused from the shed base, which was spot on. Nice bit of 4 by 2 isn't it? Nice, nice bit of 4 by 2 all treated. We get these last two in and we're done. Brilliant, and you've raised it off the ground so it's not in contact with any of the soil. No, it's on, on four by four posts all the way around. So it's not going to rot or anything no. like that. Excellent, well, I'll leave you to that. Now, come and have a look at this. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what on earth is this? Well, this is great. This is a drainage pipe that we've cut up into all these pieces, sunk them into the ground, and we're going to grow some giant carrots, okay? Now, it's filled up the inside with this compost put in very loose and the idea is that when you put the seeds in top they'll go down the root tap root will just grow down very very easily because it hasn't got any compacted soil to fight against so you end up with these giant carrots which will probably end up looking something a bit like that nice bit of carrot lots of growth on the top but the way that you do it water the soil well and then just put a couple of seeds on top so just a pinch dip your finger in they need to be about half an inch deep we'll do about three holes there a couple of seeds into each hole cover it over, keep it nice and moist, and then you can thin those out a bit later and you get three nice big carrots in there. It's brilliant for kids, and if you choose a big carrot variety, water it and feed it well, it'll grow right the way down to here. Now, more plants required. Beautiful plants, these, they are the shrubs. Hebe Pearl of Paradise is evergreen and hardy and flowers from early spring, but do remember it needs deadheading to keep its rounded shape. Lavender Regal Splendor is a great plant because it looks and smells great in the garden, but of course you can also dry the flowers and use them in potpourri. And two different types of fuchsia, Janie and Sunray. Both are hardy and will produce a real splash of colour in the garden when flowering. Okay, here's your question. Okay. Would you like to hold, the t that's my lucky tennis ball. Okay. Okay. Alright, hold that tennis ball, it'll bring you luck. Here we go. Which word describes plants that are adapted to grow above the tree line in mountainous regions? Are they Andean, Alpine, or marginal? Andean. You're going for Andean? Yes. Just give me that ball. <laughs> Your naughty ball! The, the lucky ball hasn't worked! Oh no! No, it's Alpine. Oh dear, something to reflect on then. I'm going to leave the card with you. Thank you. So that you'll never ever forget it, okay? <laughs> Thank you very All much. right, these got to stay here. I can't take anything. I'm going to check on the garden. Okay. I'll be back later. It's always lucky for me. Time for an update. And they! <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, sir? Oh. I take it because you haven't come with shrubs. They're either very small, they're in your How pocket. How do you think I'd have done that them? with a pile of shrubs? <laughs> so hard enough getting me over the fence. So she didn't win them then? No shrubs. Oh, OK. She's gutted about it. Because As she, we all are. Because she can see she made a very fundamental mistake. Which By started. getting the question wrong. Yeah. And she answered, she answered too soon. So how does that impact on the old well, design? Well, it kind of leaves a bit of space around about here and here. Right. But we can kind of work with it, and I sort suppose. sort it. You're a yeah. man of many well, talents. Well, you know. What's going on, Dan? I couldn't understand this whole thing about a walkway. This is for the kids, not the adults. And the idea is that they can jump up onto it and climb all over it, do whatever they want. So it's going to have the, the floor it's going levels to have the floor in here. Is in it? here, yeah. It's going to run right the way down there. All right. And then climb underneath it as well if they want. Nice one. And it grow all the climbers. Yeah, you got climbers. The climbers. Grow, yeah. Oh, oh, we've got the climbers. You've got the climbers. Yeah, so that's go. sorted Brilliant. out. Excellent. Good job. So down here, nice bit of uh, paving there. Lovely but bit Paul, of paving. Paul, you're going to have trouble. Grouting the gaps, they're quite <laughs> wide. Like this, though, the kids nice, will love having yeah. somewhere that's a kind of hard play area as well, won't they? Yeah. Good. I think so. Do you know what I'm thinking? Not really, no. What but on earth are those for? Well, they are for growing your giant carrots. This is a vegetable patch, you see. And I bet you, I bet you've told everybody that they'll grow all the way down to there. Of course, of course they will. <laughs> <laughs> Match. Okay. You don't believe him, do you? I'd, well, it's got to be seen to be believed, hasn't it? I'll be pulling him out. Yeah, you see. Well, when it does, phone him up, get him back here to have a look. There's a big space here, though, on the plan that's for what? Well, this is for a swing, you see. How very presumptuous of you, Mr Sturgeon. It's because I have faith in your man there. <laughs> you do realise what's going down here, don't you? Does that mean I've got to earn it? Yeah. You are going to have to answer a question 
of a horticultural nature. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's exactly what your wife to be said. Right. And if you don't get it, there's going to be a big gap. If you do get it, you're going to have the most brilliant swing and all the goodies. But that's a bit later on. Okay. Looking at these as if you want them. It would be nice. No, oh, but you've got that sad puppy doggy face on now that you're a bit <laughs> upset about losing the last lot. A bit, yes, but I'll get over it. Not half as upset as Andy the designer. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's a big hole in his garden now. <laughs> but no worries. Right, I'll do my best. You'll get these, I'm sure. The lovely plants are your perennials. Although alpine poppy is short-lived, it's an evergreen perennial and it's a real stunner. Certainly my favourite in this group. Verbascum Pink Kisses is a double whammy plant with great looking leaves as well as flowers. It's masses of white hairs that make the leaves look so silvery. And Dicentra. In late spring and early summer it produces heart-shaped bright pink flowers that hang down from arching stems, hence its common name, Bleeding Heart. Now, I have in front of me four plants. OK, Oops, separate them out a bit. OK? Mm -hmm. Which one of these four plants would produce one of these? Well, a real one, obviously. An aubergine. OK, which one of those four plants would produce an aubergine? You can touch them, feel them, smell them. That might give you some clues. Do you want the lucky tennis ball? Might work this time. They are. OK, this one. You're going for that one? You're going for this one? Yeah. OK. You're clutching that lucky tennis ball, <laughs> but you're going to kill it, all right? So let's go through them then, shall we? Uh-huh. You eliminated that? Yeah. It is tomato. Right, OK, okay that's good, so that's yeah. definitely eliminated. You yeah. eliminated that? It's like sweet pea or something. It's climbing French bean. Right, OK. OK, okay. <laughs> good to eliminate. You were down to these two. Yeah. One of these is aubergine, the other is melon. And that's the melon. That's the correct answer! Yes! Yes! <laughs> you see, if you stick with the lucky tennis ball, it pays dividends. Great. They Thank are you. yours. Thank you. They're Thank going to get whisked you. into the garden. Mm -hmm. I like to see the smile back on your face. <laughs> it's fantastic. Now, there's going to be a bit of a project coming up for you. OK, So okay. don't go away, right. all right? OK. This is the play area, so I'm just spreading out all this bark so it's a nice safe surface. If the kids fall over, they're not going to hurt themselves on this. Underneath, we've got this membrane, and that's going to stop weeds from growing up through it, but it's going to let the rainwater drain out through the bottom so this isn't going to end up all soggy. Now, I've got a lot of faith in Matt. I reckon he's going to win the swing. We still don't know yet. He's going to make me look pretty stupid if he doesn't, because I'm putting down this mat. You know how underneath the swing, all the ground gets worn out, gets all muddy, whatever. Well, this stuff will stop that from happening. You can even grow grass seed in this, so you can put it in the lawn. But I'm just going to put the bark over the top. That will all settle down into it. And then you peg it down with these special pegs here. Just bang that down through, and then they go flush and just settle into the top. It's nice and easy. So let's hope we get that swing. Over here, we've got a pot. This is going to be our focal point at the end of the path here. It's terrazzo pot, it's already quite heavy, but because it's quite tall, we're putting these stones in the bottom here. That's for drainage, but also to make it even heavier so it won't topple over. You've got to make sure, though, that you actually put this in position before you do all of this, because you'll never move it otherwise. I'm not actually going to finish it now. But then the soil, again, instead of using a lightweight peat, based compost, use a soil based compost or even soil from your garden. That goes in there and then I've nicked this cordial line from the garden. These do really well in pots, they don't mind having their roots constricted and they can dry out as well which makes them brilliant. It's project time for you Teresa, right. OK, and I've got my lucky ball that's just fallen off. That's unlucky isn't it? Eh? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you've got to make something, you're not very good at that are you? No I'm not, I'll have a go there. By your own admission, yeah, OK. Yeah. We've tried to make it as easy as possible for right. you to make a planter, uh -huh. all right? So we've made the sides, this is a side, yeah. this will then screw on yeah. to the base uh -huh. there, OK? Just four screws yeah. in there, yeah. put on the other side. The Ends. Right, okay. Down there, all looks fairly straightforward, yeah, doesn't it? I can okay. do that, yeah. Right, I'm just going to chill out, okay? You've got a couple of minutes, all right? Push harder. Harder. Well, let's go. 
And you have the no, audacity to call me a child. I can't believe it, but I am winning. going in the lead. Yes. It's another great game for the garden. No, we have to test everything. It's only fair. Well, I think that one's in. That what one works. Like? <laughs> what are you like? Am I having a bad influence on you? Right, well, you're used to working in rubbish, aren't you, Mark? Yeah, I am. I want you to sort that lot out. You want me to make something yeah. out of that? What do you reckon? How about a little potting table for the kids? All right, there, yeah. 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 Okay, we've got, we've got a bit of post on you for the legs too. Uh, yeah, we'll find something like that. Yeah, no I'll problem. sort it out, it's no problem. All right, get to it. I'll find some sacks as well for a sack race. Excellent, see you later. Now we've got this path down here. This is for the adults to get round here, but it's good for kids to be able to run round the garden, not just go up and down. So over here we've got this crawlway. I've never built one of these things before, so this is new. But the idea is that it's a bit too small for adults and it's also something that the kids can climb on. It's raised up. If they want, they can swing from these bits up here. And here, these, uh, these gaps in the trellis there, they're about 100 mil wide. You can't get a baby's head through it, so it's safe even for little babies. How did you actually make this, Dave? Well, we did it in the end with uh, effectively building two fences, a fence there, and a fence there, four by four posts in concrete, runners down the side, decking across there, Bob's your uncle, Flo's your auntie. All right, brilliant. Well, I, bet, you go. I better just test this out. Boots. Yeah, good so far. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Does my bum look big in this? I can't see through these. Where are you? There you are. Over here, over Listen, here, over no, here. Well, you said you wanted to get rid of all the scraps. Oh, yeah. So, no, that's very nice. So yeah. I made a table. Oh, yeah. It's more chip shop than Chip and Dale, though, isn't it? That is so rude. <laughs> that is so rude. <laughs> That's a nice little table. It is a you nice little table. Fairly insignificant no, bits true. of wood to make it out of. Anyway, and it's nice and sturdy. No, that's very good. And grown ups and kids can use it. That's perfect. Thought, and then I thought, if I use these bits, I thought a nice little objet d'art. Oh, Every yeah. garden should have a piece of artwork. <laughs> and I thought about that. Now, these alpine poppies are absolutely fantastic. You can see the way that they catch the sun there, but it's great in kids' gardens to use really bright and vibrant colours to stimulate their senses. These are particularly good because they'll self-seed and they'll flower and they'll pop up everywhere. Each plant's not particularly long-lived, but you'll keep getting more and more and more, so it's free plants. Now, it's important to have scent in a garden. It's another sense which is very, very important to stimulate, and honeysuckle is very, very good for that. It smells absolutely fantastic, and that gets even better in the evening. We need some climbers to grow over this crawl way here, and that's really good for this honeysuckle because sometimes they get a bit of mildew, and having that ventilation here will stop that from happening. Rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb is one of my favourite plants because it looks pretty good and of course you can eat it, but kids love it. My son's got this next to his sand pit and he's constantly picking it. We have so much rhubarb crumble in our house, you wouldn't believe it. But it grows really, really fast and it's really tough so it doesn't get battered about by footballs too much or anything like that. And it's got a pretty funky flower. Plant it with a lot of well-rotted horse manure and that'll last you for years. Hey, hang on. Have you seen my lucky tennis ball? <laughs> no, well, I haven't, no. Have I've you lost, lost it? I've lost my lucky tennis ball. Oh, no. <laughs> Matthew, it's the big one now. It's a nice swing, isn't it? It's a great swing. <laughs> How much will the kids like this? Oh, immensely. So here's your question for the fantastic swing. On which of these gardening tools would you find a tine? Is it a hoe, a spade, or a fork? I think it's a fork. You think it's a fork? I do. A lot rests on this? It does. That's the correct answer. Yes! <laughs> yes, very good indeed. Only problem is we now have to work out how to get it in the garden. Put those, put those legs on the ground. How are we going to get it down the crawl way then? Everybody's here now. Well, Beth's still asleep now. Mm -hmm. She is. Because she's yeah. a little bit little. Mm -hmm. But Jack's here, which is really important. Now, Jack, you tell us what your garden looked like 
first thing this morning? It had a swing and, like, a play set. It wasn't much fun playing down there. There wasn't much to do, was there, really? No. No? OK. All right. It was a bit bad, wasn't it, Theresa? Yeah, it was a bit of a mess, yes, indeed. <laughs> OK, not good at all. Mm -mm. It's a little bit different. Take a look at it now. Open your eyes, Theresa and Jack. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic, Jack. Look at that. I know, it's oh, it's wonderful. Have you seen what's down the back there, Jack? No. Yeah. Have a look. Have a little look. We got this special little crawlway thing for Jack. Yeah, Adults it's on the left, kids yeah. on the right there. And Beth will be underneath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carpet commando. But then you've got all the climbers that you want uh -huh. early on, yeah. which can climb up the sides of the trellis. Look so you, it'll so create almost an plant. enclosed yeah. tunnel of plants. That's really great. Thank, awesome. you. Which is, Thank which you. Which is so the much. idea. And we've got a little vegetable patch down the end there as well for oh, Jack. Wonderful. So what was that like? Brilliant. Brilliant. Very, yeah. very good. Excellent. So there's a happy man. Yeah. How similar or different is this to what you had in mind? It's just completely different. I don't. I couldn't imagine it looking like this. It's opened all imagine. the area up as well. It's it a lot lighter, isn't it, from yeah. when you're looking at it now? Fantastic. Mate. Because it was always hidden behind the sheds. Mm. So. Yeah. And in, terms, in terms of plant care, Andy, is there a lot to do or not? No, not really. No, you can just let the climbers get on with it and just snip them when they get in the way. Mm. No clever right. horticulture or anything like that. And everything else, you just get on. And, Spread Brilliant. neatly, yeah. It's fantastic, because it would have taken us, you know, the next couple of months to get this done, ready yeah, for the was... wedding. So this is just, it's wonderful, it's great. Really pleased. Thank you. Thanks a lot for everything and thanks for liking it. Thank yeah. Great. <laughs> Absolutely. Only problem is the skip man can't come till next week. We're leaving. Call a taxi. <laughs> <laughs> nice garden, sir. Not bad, not bad. Went like alright, didn't it? I like the lava with well, the swing. It was, yes. But I can see that happening. Right from early on, I have to say. You've got your remember vision. Because uh, well, I've been there before with that kind of problem, right. I have to say. Only thing is though, I'm a bit upset today. What's that? Well I'm losing my lucky tennis ball, man. I'm sure it'll turn up. Not so lucky after, right? Eh?